looking for the best homemade air dry clay recipe. This is a two part series, episode one, where I'm going to be teaching you some tips and tricks on how to make your porcelain clay on the gas stove. For the best creative DIY and fashion content, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. I have a Facebook group that is dedicated to creative DIY crafts and fashion that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. Here are the ingredients you're going to need to make this project. Corn flour or corn starch and you can pick up either of these at your local grocery store. Body lotion, which you can get at dollar store or pharmacy. Elmer's glue. Now you should use the PVA glue, but you can get this glue at dollar store or at an office depot. Baby oil, which you can pick up at the dollar store. And an acrylic paint. Now the paint, I would recommend it to be either bone white or a more bead kind of look, spoiler alert. And then your measuring utensils. Before we start, you can now use lotion or you can use the baby oil or you can use a combination of both and just put it down that you can see a little bit more than the baby oil and you're just gonna smooth it over your surface so that once you're finished making your clay, you can just take it off the heat. You're going to pour your glue mixture with your corn flour and you're going to mix it. Comment down below if you've ever tried making air dry clay on a gas stove or an electric stove. Now when you start seeing when you're turning it and looking at sticking like that, that means it's ready to be kneed, kneed off the stove. And I'm gonna put some baby oil on my hand. And this is hot, remember, right? So what we're, what we're doing is we're just gonna mix it. We're going to um, keep kneading it and bring it to the clay. Now this one here is the one that I made out of the corn flour. This, I actually made this product out of soap, a bar of soap, and it is nice. I've had it for, I think it's three or four months now, but if you want to change your, your and this, this is actually a really nice color for a bead, and so is this one. So if you want to have a nice bone effect, you can mix those two colors together, and both you can do the pinch test. Now this one I did mix, but. 
Now that you know how to make air dry clay on a gas stove, I have written a five page designing platform guideline that will help you learn to take whatever creativity you have in your mind and put it on something that is digital. Also, if you want to join a community of creative minds just like yourself, I will be launching my Facebook secret group in the coming months. So check out these videos next on how to make chalk paint and my upcoming video, how to make salt dough beads. Hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends.